So for the tuning I use a reference keyboard and especially the lower octave is not so easy to, to hear. So you try a few times. It's okay. And you go down up the scale, testing each each note. Could be a bit lower. So here are some instructions if you want to tune uh, some of the times. What you need is a screwdriver, posse drive 2 and a pair of pincers. I will demonstrate here for uh, with one of the uh, uh, times of the upper tier uh, because it's easier to see. So uh, the basic principle is to move to, to loosen the screw and move the time a little in or out and also the two supporting rods uh, can be placed so that the time is in tune and that the, the, the end is in line. The time uh, rests on two small rods and you, I use uh, pincers to move it. So I release the screw, then it's very simple really, I move in or out. So we'll demonstrate now with one of the natural tones, the lower tier. So these are a bit hard to access, so what you have to do really is first remove the upper tines, move them a bit out of the way. Remove also the supporting rods, possibly. There. So now the rod is uh, accessible. The tuning is pretty good. So we first demonstrate how to um, lower it. We loosen the tine. With the pincers I can move the little rods. I move the tine forward or backwards. So if I would want to lower it, I would want to make the length as large as possible. So that means the supporting rod goes upward as much and the tine goes to the front as much as possible. Then tighten the screw so it went down about half a tone in pitch now to raise it again again I loosen the support the, the, the screw the time goes back a little bit the supporting rod goes outside to the front let's see how this you can see that the time is already in a good location it's a little low still so we have to raise the pitch means l make shorter the the length of the time so that's pretty good and then the last step you have to do the, the time that we removed. After I've tightened the screw again I can test the pitch. 
So I could lower it a little bit. Release the screw. The supporting rod goes in a little bit so that the length will be longer. Tighten again and test. So to reinstall the time from the upper range, first we place the two supporting rods, mounting rods, and on the time is indicated more or less its its position. It might change a bit, but that's a good starting point. It's a secure little job. Using the pincers, and they might drop out. Let's see. It's a little too much to the outside, so we can adjust it, loosen it, move it back one millimeter, straighten the little rods. It's best if they are parallel. Let's see. So we have E flat. And this is already pretty good. So there you have it.